How much do you know about Sudan, the African country marred in deep crisis for 18 months? Protests erupted in the capital Khartoum in January 2018 as prices on basic goods like gasoline and bread skyrocketed after the Sudanese government devalued the local currency and removed wheat and electricity subsidies. Over the next year, the deteriorating economy and soaring costs of living sparked more demonstrations. By December 2018, young men and women were demanding major economic and political reforms and calling for President Omar al-Bashir in power for 30 years to step down and be replaced by a civilian government. With the largely peaceful protests gaining momentum, al-Bashir declared a state of emergency in February 2019 and replaced the government with military and intelligence officers in the Transitional Military Council, or the TMC. On April 11th, the military staged a coup d'etat and removed al-Bashir from power. An association of professionals, which had led the charge for reform, called on the military council to step down and put in place a civilian-led transitional government. Protests continued in a peaceful sit-in in Khartoum and negotiations for a joint transition government ensued. The people of Sudan had had enough for the 50 years of famine, repression, and dictatorship. But on June 3rd, events took a violent turn. Security and paramilitary forces ordered by General Mohammed Hamdan went on a bloody rampage dispersing the sit-ins, killing 128 people, raping 70 women, and injuring countless others. The premeditated massacre subdued the spirit of the protesters and the cities went quiet. Beaten up but undeterred, some Sudanese activists turned to art to pursue their fight for freedom. Asil Diab, a 30-year-old street artist, is now showing the world through her art what is happening in Sudan, using a color inspired by Mohammed Hashim Matar a young 26-year-old British Sudanese engineer murdered during the violent breakup of the sit-in. Matar's social media profile photo was a deep turquoise blue. To honor his life and others lost during the sit-in, his friends colored their profile photos blue too, inspiring the viral blue for Sudan hashtag. Diab is using the same blue to symbolize the Sudanese uprising. Other Sudanese artists plan to reveal the world's largest protest banner, 1.9 miles long, to be displayed outside the military headquarters. The banner will show a series of paintings by hundreds of local artists, portraits of fallen activists, and signatures of thousands of protesters. Painter Galal Youssef has produced murals of protesters screaming for change. One pays homage to the more than 70 women who were raped during the June 3rd crackdown. On June 30th, in an astonishing act of defiance, hundreds of thousands of Sudanese participated in the largest pro-democracy rally ever. Two weeks later, on July 17th, the military council and the protesters signed an agreement to share power in the civilian government. Art, especially visual art, broadcast the Sudanese uprising to the world, even as internet shutdowns may hinder the message. While the future remains uncertain and full of obstacles, the people of Sudan hope that their revolt will succeed, even as so many Arab revolutions have failed.